Okay, one of the really useful things about MathCAD is the ability to incorporate uh, various Boolean tests and, and logic uh, into your calculations because that's going to allow us to do a lot of really complicated things. Now, we've had this sheet open before, uh, but I want to use it for something slightly different this time. We want to look at incorporating a test for maximum and minimums uh, as you know in one of our calculations so i'm going to scroll down so this is calculating the capacity of a reinforced concrete beam and it's done in accordance with the canadian uh, concrete code and so one of the parameters that we calculate if we're using equivalent rectangular stress blocks is this alpha one parameter and we see the equation for it out here uh, however um, one of the stipulations in the code, if you actually look up the clause, and there should be a reference to the clause here if we're annotating this uh, effectively, is that it also cannot be lower than 0 0.67. And so this equation, while great and it's calculating it, it's incomplete because if we were to have a value of F prime C, so let me go and change my F prime C value. Instead of being 25 megapascals, let's say it's very high strength concrete at 130 megapascals, and we roll down, we see it will calculate a value of 0.655, which is below the, the minimum that it's allowed to have. It has to be a minimum of 0.67 according to the code. So what I want to do is I want to incorporate that logic into my calculations, and I'm going to do that using the maximize function. So I'm going to start over here, I'm going to go alpha, Control G to turn that into the Greek uh, letter. Uh, control minus or dash to get to the lower case. Uh, and so we go alpha one. And what I'm going to do, I'm just going to copy and paste this. So I'll copy it. But before I paste it, I'm going to go maximum of create the brackets. The first term will be that. Then I will do a comma and I will put in the 0 0.67 identified in the code. And then I can hit my equal sign. And you see what happens here is in that in this instance, unlike the first equation, it does a test. It will calculate the first term and it will calculate the second term and it will return the maximum of the two. And so this establishes the logic. So let's go back and change our F prime C back up to 25 megapascals, we can scroll down and we see it calculates 0.813 and it returns that value, whereas when it was 130, it returned the maximum of 0.67. So this kind of equation becomes really, really useful when doing complex calculations in multi-domain variables where there's different cases that have to be incorporated. So we're going to go from there. We're going to go on and do some of the other Boolean logic with if statements and whatnot. And you'll see that we're going to be able to start to build more and more complex structures that will accommodate a variety of circumstances.